I was first diagnosed a couple days before Valentine's Day and at first when they told me I was pretty shocked. I was sad of course and I was mad at myself mostly and I was confused because I didn't know why out of everyone in the world it had to be me that had to have lupus. When they told me there was no cure for it, that's when I really like cried and broke down because I knew that I was stuck with it, gonna be stuck with it for the rest of my life. And, um, sorry. <laughs> sorry. A diagnosis of lupus is a life changer. It can cause an inflammation of the heart, the lungs, the, even the brain. A patient can um, develop psychoses or seizures from this disease. One of the most common parts of lupus that we see is when it affects the kidney, causing nephritis or inflammation of the kidneys. And this can lead to kidney failure, um, causing the patient to need transplantation and put them at great risk for, for um, an early mortality. Dr. Stevens, uh, as a rheumatologist, uh, sees uh, all types of patients suffering autoimmune diseases and the arsenal of medications that she has at hand are very limited and the, the side effects that come with the use of these medications over time chronically are very serious. Children, uh, we like to say, are not just little adults. Um, children have different metabolisms and may, may process a medication differently. In rheumatology, we have very few medications that have um, been studied and FDA approved for children. For pediatric lupus patients, there are none. It wasn't a lot of thinking what my future looked like. I would wake up in the hospital bed, go to sleep in the hospital bed, have my mom sleeping on a couch next to me. My thoughts were sort of just, when am I getting out of here? And how am I gonna deal with it? When I first left the hospital, I was on lots of medications. Prednisone was the one that sort of changed me a lot. Um, a lot of my family couldn't recognize me because my cheeks were really, really big. When we founded Canada, one of the things we were really focused on was solving the translational problem. This is, this is getting drugs out of the laboratory and into the clinic. The Alliance for Children's Therapeutics is a partnership between Canada and Seattle Children's Research Institute, where we both become investors in the future of child therapeutics. The intent is to serve our mission, which is to prevent, treat, and eliminate childhood disease. There's clearly a commercial need here that can be solved and can be very beneficial to our investors while solving a, a huge societal problem. Most pediatric diseases are orphan diseases. There's too few children with a particular disease to interest most for-profit companies in identifying a drug or a device to help those children. If it weren't for research institutes like us, the, the research wouldn't be conducted. The lead drug we're talking about for autoimmunity has a boring name, SHK186, but it's actually derived from a sea anemone. It's gone through uh, phase one trials with adults, and so it's, it's, a, it's a very potent and targeted drug. It's very selective at what it does, and we think that ultimately that's exactly the kind of drug you need for kids because you don't want to, to disrupt their, their growth cycles and, uh, and other things that they need to become adults. And so we, we know it's actually a really good candidate to now try in children. But beyond that, there's, a, there's an enormous opportunity in autoimmunity in more, more general terms. We hope within a year we'll have results on cells from lupus patients, and that will give us justification to move on to test this in patients. There's no way that would happen if we were not working together.
We need more medications designed for children so that our doctors have the tools they need to make a difference in those children's lives. And the only way for that to happen is to invest in research. It would be great to have a, a cure or even something to prevent lupus. I really hope they do find a cure. I think it's gonna take time. We can, we can bear. It's not gonna be easy, but it's just what you gotta do.